Welcome to the What's New video for the 2025.2 release of VG Studio Max and related products. It is going to provide an overview of the new features available in this version, with a focus on how to find and use them in the software. The new version of VG Studio Max and VG Metrology introduces support for Hexagon's Absolute Arm and enables you to interactively acquire either surface data with the AS1 laser scanner or geometry elements using tactile probing. The connection to this hardware is achieved using a new type of object introduced with version 2025.2, the scan object. It can be created from the CAD surface mesh ribbon, and when it is selected, the scanning contextual ribbon is enabled. All functionality that is necessary to acquire scan or probe data is collected in this ribbon. Using the AS1 laser scanner adds surface information in the form of point clouds to the scan object. Clicking Start Scanning begins the acquisition process and the 3D scene shows a live preview of the scan surface information as the scanner is moved across the object. The preview is continuously updated while new points are acquired and is helpful to determine where additional passes with the scanner are required. Sweeping the same area multiple times will increase the point density, and with this, the quality of the resulting surface. Depending on the inspection task, it might not even be necessary to acquire the full surface of the part, but only the areas where, for example, geometry elements are supposed to be fitted. For further processing, the scan surface must be turned into a mesh object. The selected meshing preset controls the fidelity with which the acquired point cloud is represented by this mesh. It is also possible to use clipping objects to remove certain points from the meshing. For example, to get rid of points belonging to the table or a fixture. Once the mesh has been generated, it will behave like any other mesh object in BG software and can be inspected using the wide range of available measuring and analysis capabilities. It is also possible to acquire additional points for the scan object at any time, which will automatically update the inspection results after remeshing. Switching to tactile probing enables the creation of geometry elements that can then be used as the basis of further measurements. The element type is automatically deduced from the probed points, and additional elements can be conveniently created by utilizing the hardware switches available on the absolute arm. Alternatively, it is possible to predefine the geometry elements that need to be probed as part of a measurement template that is applied to the scan object. Version 2025.2 also introduces support for another type of hardware, the third-party GelSight Mobile Tactile Sensor Kit that can be used to measure, visualize, and inspect the 3D topography of surfaces in very high resolution. By attaching the sensor to Hexagon's absolute arm, it is possible to acquire detailed surface patches that are positioned correctly in relation to other representations of the inspected part, like a CT volume or a surface mesh. Surface patches can be acquired via the Gel Site Acquisition option in the Import section. The dialog shows a live image of the Elastic Touch sensor and preview images of the patches already acquired. Multiple patches can be easily acquired in sequence by utilizing the hardware switch available on the Absolute Arm.
Once all patches have been acquired the import can be confirmed, and mesh objects representing the different surface patches are created and added to the scene. Note how the patches are positioned correctly in relation to the pre-existing surface scan and the additional level of surface detail that they provide. This is very apparent when comparing the chamfered edge of the part acquired via gel site to the surface obtained via laser scanning or when looking at the machine tooling marks visible on this patch. VG software can also trigger surface roughness calculations on the acquired patches, utilizing the GelSite mobile software running in the background. The results are represented by an analysis object and can be displayed in annotations, tolerance, and reported in the usual way. The new coordinate measurement overview dialog is a convenient way of comparing features and geometries between multiple parts that were inspected in the same way. This scene for example contains five volume objects, with the same measurement template being applied to each of them. The new dialog is available in the measurement ribbon. It groups all features and geometries in the scene by their names. Selecting a group shows the individual elements present on the scene objects and displays their various properties. This makes it very easy to quickly compare the actual values of this measured distance across all parts for example. It is also possible to change certain values like the nominal value directly in the overview table. Values can either be changed for individual elements or for all elements present. Identifying inconsistencies between the different inspections also becomes easier. Just check for elements that are only present on some of the inspected parts. Clicking an entry in the table will select the corresponding scene object for further editing or removal. VG Trainer now can not only be used to create new deep learning segmentation models, but also to fine tune existing models. Fine tuning an existing model requires less training data than creating a model from scratch and can be used to adjust suitable pre-trained models to more specific segmentation tasks. To fine-tune a model, just create a new project in VG Trainer as usual and add some label data. On the Run page, first select the fine-tuning preset that comes with the VG Trainer installer. Then, select the pre-trained model that should serve as the basis for the new fine-tuned model. After entering a name for the new model, the training process can be started as usual. Planar handles are a new addition to the interactive tripod that is enabled when an object is unlocked, and can be very helpful when manually positioning objects in the scene and in relation to each other. Grabbing one of the handles and dragging the mouse will move the object in the selected plane only and constrain movement in all other directions, making it very easy to align the smaller object with the surface of the larger object in this example. Starting with version 2025.2, DICON D tag information will be available for all volume objects, regardless of the data type that was used while importing them. The tags can be viewed in the Object Properties dialog in this example for a volume that was imported from a raw data file, it is possible to manually edit most tags. Tags that can't be edited because they are derived from the properties of the volume data itself are denoted with a small lock symbol. The tag content will always be stored with a project and used when exporting volume data in the DICON D format. But that's not all. Be sure to also check out the What's New section on our website or in the software itself for a full view of this version's improvements, and make sure to join the VG community for a full changelog, feedback, and discussions. Thanks for watching, and see you next version.